Okay, Tuesday, the 9th of January on the Compete program. We have a pretty fun start to the session. We've got a partner workout. Um, so four rounds of partner one is gonna be doing 100 double unders whilst partner two holds a sandbag. So you can only be doing double unders whilst your partner has that sandbag up in a bear hook hold. And if they drop it, then you have to stop doing double unders. If the person stops doing double unders, but you're still holding the bag, that's absolutely fine. But of course you want to try and get through those double unders as fast as you can to limit the time and attention that your partner um, is doing. When you've done that, you'll switch roles. So you'll both do 100 double unders and the sandbag hold every round. And then you'll move on to an echo bike where you have 75 calories and you're gonna aim to swap the person on the bike every 30 seconds. So it goes to 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest until you've hit 75 reps. And that's a pretty good way to split out that work evenly. And then you're repeating that whole cycle for four rounds. Now the elite load is 90 kilos on the sandbag for the guys, 70 for the girls. And then RX intermediate is 70 slash 50. Of course, if you don't have access to the heavier sandbags then you'll have to use the lighter ones, but you just have to bear in mind that it won't quite be the same stimulus. It will be a slightly easier stimulus if you are an elite athlete, but using the RX or intermediate loading. If uh, you don't have access to sandbags at all, like I've said before, you need to send another message to your gym owner and ask them nicely to buy some sandbags. Um, but otherwise today, I would sub that for a double um, kettlebell front rack hold. You can do that with like sort of 24s or 16s. You don't need to go all the way up to sort of 32s because the chances are you're now probably not gonna be holding that in the same way. You'll probably lean backwards and use more lower back than core so i would say use a slightly lighter dumbbell and hold them in a better way rather than just trying to add the extra load to those kettlebells um, if you don't have a partner then basically you will do 100 double unders and then you'll accumulate i would say one minute of a sandbag hold if your partner if you did have a partner and they did the double unders and broken it's about a minute so you need to hold the bag for a minute and then you're going to work 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off on the echo bike for uh, four sets and accumulate as many um, calories as you can in those four sets. And then you'll repeat four cycles of that. But you're still trying to push yourself hard on the echo bike if you don't, even if you don't have a partner and you don't have a calorie target that you're going for. After that, you'll be a little bit fatigued, so try and take some rest. Um, I purposely put the next piece as a much slower quality piece. So you're on 10, 9, 8, all the way down to one rep of uh, strict pull-ups, strict ring dips, strict bar rows, and strict push-ups. So keeping everything as high quality, as good movement as possible, even if that means breaking this up way more than you would want to, especially on things like the bar rows and the push-ups. Don't start kind of tipping or using weird momentum to get through those. The bar rows is just with a barbell across the pull-up rack, your feet on the floor, and you're doing, yeah, basically like a ring row, but with the bar, I think it's a, a better sort of stimulus in this workout. Um, so you'll go 10 down to one for quality. That again should take quite a long time, uh, but there's no sort of stress to get through that. And then you have um, quite a challenging accessory piece to finish with Turkish get-ups and some higher volume um, GHDs or V-ups. So, I can accept any complaints that this is not accessory, this is another Metcon. Uh, so you can uh, join Mia, she'll be also complaining about this being called accessory when it's actually a Metcon. So you have that to finish off today's session.